Hi everyone, welcome to this video entitled Tips and Tricks number 3 How to embed components in QSpice. So the idea is that we have our component as shown here is an operational amplifier. We have drawn the component, we have the description in Spice, and usually we include this description here as a file. For example, here is my library.lib in which we include the SPICE definition for this component. For example, in this case, we have this file and here we have the description of the operational amplifier. So, as we have seen in previous videos, we need to have this file together with our uh, simulation file in order that everything works correctly. But there is another possibility, which is to embed the description of the component directly in the component itself. So in this way, we don't need to include any external file to do the simulation and the complete simulation file is going to be autonomous and can run without anything else. So let's see how to do this. So the process is very simple. We start with the definition of our converter in SPICE as shown here and we have to convert all this description into a single line with the following rules. We start with the pipe symbol, the vertical bar. As we know, this symbol is used in Linux, for example, to do the redirection of information. So this symbol is also used here. And then the different lines that we have here in the description are added in the single line by adding at the end of each line the backslash n symbol. So here we have all this description converted into a single line. And then we copy all this information into the library file property as shown here. And this is all. We save our component and then we can use our component in the simulation file. So this is the way to do it. We just remove the library and we paste here the complete description of our component. So now let's see how to use our new component. I have added here the folder in which I have both components. This one that we have here now is the non-embedded component. The definition is in the library, so we can remove this and then we can use this component, which is component with the embedded definition. So here we can see that we have all the information related to the behavior of this component. We can check this also going to view netlist and here we can see how the definition, the description of the operational amplifier is embedded in the netlist. So now we can run the simulation and see if everything is working well. So here we have the results, maybe we can close this and now we can take a look at the output voltage and the input voltage and see that everything is working correctly. Well, I hope that this information is useful for you. Please let me know if you have any comment or question and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye now.